मिलेगा ही होप फॉर फाइन दिस इज ओल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन गाइडलाइन टेबल यू नो द फर्स्ट पार्ट वन इज ऑलरेडी कॉम्पिटेड इन ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सो यू हैव टू चेक द फर्स्ट पार्ट वन देन दिस इज द पार्ट टू सो देन इट विल बी द कॉम्पिटेड वन वीडियो सो डोंट मिस दिस वीडियो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो सो बिफोर गो प्रोसीड विद द वीडियो जेन वी नीड टू यू नीड लाइक फ्रॉम योर गाइज लाइक एंड कॉमेंट डेफिनेटली यू हैव नी आई नीड योर फीडबैक्स don't forget to share my videos to all your all people your friends your colleges and don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot for watching my video so let's start so this is the table qualification in wsd 1.1 ap 1 on just me section 9 so what is there today we will discuss about the acceptance of acceptance criteria of testing First is visual inspection. In visual inspection, where you can find in for older qualification, if you go to the para 8.9, table 8.1, it's clearly mentioned all wells shall be visual inspected and shall be acceptable if the criteria of table 8.1 or table 10.15 if table are satisfied. So you have to follow the 8.9 para table. It's mentioned that you have to go the table 8.1. So 8.1 you can see the acceptance criteria of visual inspection if you go the api 1104 the you can you have to go the para 6.4 it's mentioned you see for a qualification test will to meet the requirement for visual examination the oil shall be free from cracks inadequate penetration and bt burn through and must present a neat workman like appearance means it's a very good visual quality should be the depth of undercutting adjacent to the final bit on the outside of the pipe shall not be more than 1 by 32 inch means 0.8 mm it should not be more than 0.8 mm it's less than 1 mm so this is the requirement of api 1104 the para 6.4 you can see there if you go to asme section 9 qw 194 you can check the performance test coupon shall show no cracks and the complete joint penetration with complete fusion of weld metal and base metal so this is the requirement for the visual inspection in awsd 1.1 or api 1.04 and asme section 9 so the next page will go so next page is the nd non destructive examination radiographic test you have to go the para 8.1 to rt and para 8.13 for ut the so oil subjects to ndt shall have been found acceptable by visual inspection of in accordance with 8.9 so you have to go the 8.9 after 8.9 you can see the particularly for para 8.1 to for rt and para 8.13 for ut so 8.9 what is this is for ndt requirement If you go the API one one zero four, the para nine point two and nine point three clearly mention the defect acceptance criteria for inadequate penetration without halo, inadequate penetration due to halo, inadequate cross penetration, complete fusion, incomplete fusion, incomplete fusion due to collapse and internal concavity. So this type of defect is mentioned in the non-dextrous examination. You can go the para nine point two and nine point three. This is acceptance criteria you can find out from there. If you go the QW one eighty four and QW one ninety one, what is mentioned in for ASME section nine, the radiographic examination in QW one four two for welders and QW one four three for welding operators. So welders and welding operators they are separated QW. What are the minimum requirement of section five article to accept as follows? So what are the minimum requirement? A written written radiographic examination procedure is required for this one non destructive examination also you see here demonstrate demonstration of image quality requirement on production on technical red, technic radiograph shall be considered satisfactory evidence of the compliance with section article 2 so this is the requirement of the qw184 qw191 you can check the asme section 9 for older qualification for non destructive examination So we'll go the next one. The next one you see here the mechanical testing. You see mechanical testing in AWSD 1.1. You have to go the para 6.23 is clearly mentioned. Macrotech test as for 6.23.2. 
Act paragraph 6.23.3 and the fillet break test paragraph 6.23.4. So mechanical testing for requirement for older qualification you can check in the AWS D1.1 the para 6.23. If you go the API 1104, it will be applicable for para 6.5. Para 6.5.3 is tensile strength. Para 6.5.4 for neck break test. Para 6.5.5 is the pen test requirement. If you go the AFME section 9, what are the requirements? QW 153, QW 163, and QW 170. 153 is the acceptance criteria tension test, and 163 is the acceptance criteria the pen test, and the 170 you have to go the fillet. You can check the fillet test there. So this is the acceptance criteria for mechanical testing as per AWSD 1.1, API 1104 and as the section 9. Now you see here the qualification item. This is for the performance qualification form. So where we can find the performance qualification form for AWSD 1.1? You can see the para 6.19 and extra J. It is clearly mention when a form is there the performance qualification form the what is this the holding personnel shall follow a wps applicable to the qualification test required all of the wps is essential variable limitation of 6.8 shall apply in addition to the performance essential variable of 6.20 so the holding performance qualification record shall favor shall serve as a written verification and shall list all of the applicable essential variable as for table 6.2, suggested forms are found in L. So you can see the L also, and all the essential variables should be in their performance qualification form. So you can get from NHRG. If you go to the ABI 1104, it is figure 2, there are 6.8 records. You can see that there is a record. A record shall be maintained of the test given to each holder and the details result of each test a form similar to that shown in figure 2 so there is a figure 2 it's there is a form is there for api 1104 performance qualification and if you go the asme section 9 qw 463 form is qw 484a you can check there the form i can just give you one example here you can see here the example this is like this one form is there particularly performance qualification form this so you can find out from the qw 484a so this is performance qualification form is finished. Now you will go the retest criteria. Where we can find the retest as for the holder qualification for AWS D1.1 table 6.25. You can check the retest criteria. When a holder welding operator or tech welder either fails a qualification test or if there is a specific reason to question their welding abilities or period of effectiveness has lapsed. So Welders 6.25.1 is clearly mentioned welders and welding operator retest requirement and 6.25.2 is the tag welder retest requirement. So this is the requirement of the retest for AWS D1.1. If you go to the API 1104, you can check the para 6.47 its requirement for the retest criteria. In the mutual opinion of the company and the contractor representative, a welder failed to pass that qualification if the welder there is a fail to pass the qualification test because of the unavoidable condition of the beyond the oldest control then we need to retest criteria if there opportunity no to qualify no further retest shall be given until the welder has submitted proof of subsequent welder training if it is a second time if it is a fail then it will be happen uh, applicable for api 1104 if you go the asme section 9 qw304 what is mentioned it is clearly mentioned if a production will be selected for welder performance qualification and it does not meet the examination standard, the welder has failed the test in this event. The entire production weld made by this welder shall be examined, examined and repaired by a qualified welder by welding operator. Alternatively, retest need to be done as per the QW320. So this is the retest criteria for three different types of standard. Now we will go to the last one is the renewal of qualification. If you go the renewal of qualification, if you go the paragraph 6.25.1.3 at WSD 1.1 is clearly mentioned when a holder of holding operator qualification period of effectiveness has lapsed. 
A requalification test shall be required. Welders have the option of using a test thickness 10 mm to qualify any production welding thickness greater than or equal to. So this is for renal of requalification. You need to know this one. If you go to API 1104, really it is not mentioned any renewal, but API does not mention renewal explanation after six months from he has passed the test P paragraph 6.8 of ABA standard 1.04. A welder may be required to requalify if he question arises by the welder's competence. If you go to QW320, the performance qualification of a welder or welding operator shall remain valid provided no greater than six months. So after six months, you have to go there again. You have to uh, renewal for this uh, older particularly you need to go the same WQT follow as per the approved WPS so then it can be renewal so this is you understand for three different types of uh, different standard renewal of qualification so that's all so this is all this retail criteria then qualification all this you have known now as per the Older qualification test what is the requirement is part one and part two is cover in where you can find out easily you can get so thanks for watching don't forget to share my channel and subscribe my channel to get regular uploads okay thank you guys uh, be safe take care bye bye